your favorite thing about the Navy SEAL experience? Well, that's not, that's actually the name of like their more fancy one, but of the jump and the diving. Just how smooth and chill and comfortable and safe it felt. And I really liked the diving, it was awesome. So it was a jump from anywhere between 10 to 65 feet, but they didn't, usually don't go over 35 for people who haven't done it before. If we go again, we can go higher. We should do it again. We definitely jumped, annual thing. Yeah, we definitely jumped from higher off of like rocks and stuff. It's, it's Which is a lot how, more dangerous. Yeah, it's interesting how like you're not supposed to like, yeah, I would have jumped from 60. There's a person in the water, like making sure the water was okay. There's no turtles to jump on and, and everything was clear. And there were like two other people. So there were like three people, four people. He was one of four. Uh, yeah. Four. There are four people who, like, okayed it before you did it. So it's, like, the safest you could possibly be. And no rocks in sight. So you're not jumping off a cliff. So it was really safe. And the water's 40 feet deep. <laughs> yeah, the water was 40 feet deep. And we know that because later we were at the bottom of that water. And, uh, that was really, really cool. And, uh, it was my first time diving. I was not that scared of the jump. Except when I got paranoid about sharks, but then, you know, there were a lot of people there making sure there were no sharks. Uh, the night before, I, all I could think of was, like, what if there's a shark? And there was a shark. I saw a shark underwater. But yeah, I, like, wasn't going to go diving because I don't like that. It's scary. It's it's like, I basically decided not to. And I was like, this is going to happen. And the more I bugged her about it, the more she got annoyed at me. So I, like, whispered to the guy that I was like, she's going to be convincing and I can't do it. Because... <sighs> and he was like, all right. And... Steve, like, Steve totally, awesome. like, just made it his mission to... And he did. He, like, made me not as scared. And there were other people, too, that were... Everyone was very involved in making me not scared, which was really nice, because I was one of three people who were scared, and I was the only one of the three who actually yeah, ended up diving 40 feet. Two other people, I was surprised. They didn't... They went, like, slightly down, and that's it. I ended up... Because I have trouble on planes um, equalizing my ears. Even, like, on this flight, I, I, my head felt weird. I thought, like, oh, no, I never feel good landing in planes. Um, and sometimes it's, like, really bad, and I, like, it's, like, super, super bad. Like, where, like, when my eyes tears up, because, like, half my head hurts. Oh, no. Uh, but this was totally fine. And um, he knew I was scared, so, like, the entire time he, like, held my hand swimming for 20 minutes before he even let go and kept making sure I was okay. Like, we'd go down, like, a foot, and he'd be like, you okay? Yeah, like, I'm okay. And then, like down three feet I was like not okay not okay but then I blew my nose like he said and it was fine and then yep. like five minutes later I was at 40 feet below the ocean I was it's like oh cool. oh we saw turtles we saw a reef shark we saw all sorts of fish we saw coral and it was just so weird because you it swimming is different underwater I'm like really I like to swim I'm good at swimming I couldn't swim like I couldn't even like keep myself upright it took me a while to figure out how to like be in water underwater it's pretty cool and then like every once in a while i it, the rules were like remember to breathe don't stop breathing and don't go up too fast and i kept forgetting to breathe like there were cameras so you know we wanted to like pose and you know when you breathe out the bubbles come out so i did forget to breathe a lot and it took me like 20 minutes to even be like wait i'm underwater i should be looking around because i kept thinking like i shouldn't be breathing mm -hmm. like i just kept overthinking the breathing which is really weird because should be a natural thing to do but it's really unnatural to do underwater <laughs> and yeah it was really 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 cool and we're gonna do it again many times yeah we're really into it now i want to do it on maui i want to do it on the other islands be... first time isaac has ever been right and told me to dive <laughs> and i was like oh scary underwater scary but it wasn't that scary once I was in. But I need Steve to hold my hand. But we had no idea that you could just go diving your first time. That you could actually go to like 40 feet. Like, I, yeah. I remember when I was younger, you had to like do it in a pool first. And I don't know if that was just because I was younger or if also, the pools are different in Hawaii. Where were are. you? Because I was um, in Florida. In okay, well, in Prague, it's also in a pool, but yeah. that's, there's no oceans there. So I've also thought it was only in pools. Uh, the aqua park I used to go to in Prague, uh, well, right outside of Prague, uh, it had a diving pool where people would learn how to dive and it went like really deep. And, yeah, and I saw ads for it on Facebook because they knew we were doing this. Yeah. And it said like it was, there were ads for like start doing it in the pool. So, and they said you can do it when you're really young. So, PADI, P A D I, is like, you know, the um, certification, I guess. And like, yeah, so we, now we want to get certified. We're going to have a lot of videos about that here and yeah it was really cool and the jump itself was also really really cool of course 
and then, but it like just got overshadowed by and that. you forget that it doubles as a doors off helicopter tour which costs like yes. 300 dollars at least in its own self so like and doors off helicopter tours usually only have like a small door like this it was like two doors worth like a car and you were allowed to stick your limbs out carefully yeah. to like do a dolphin whether that's officially allowed i don't know i'm the video footage is everywhere yes yeah, it is true. i think it's just you know not recommended on the other flights to be extra safe but yeah this guy like went through all the lectures of like his main thing is safety anything if anything would have been unsafe he would have stopped everything yeah. and it was really cool when we were underwater he um uh brought a knife with him in case he saw any like animals that needed rescuing and a turtle had um what was it uh, like a fishing sinker i guess i have it with me i took it as a souvenir um that he cut off of the turtle and it was really funny because me and Isaac both saw it, and we were trying to communicate to him that, you know, there was something stuck to the turtle. So, yeah, Isaac was wagging his hands. I was Signing stabbing turtle. motion <laughs> for knife, and yeah. I went. I did this. I did this. this. <laughs> yeah, the no. And like stab the turtle, stab it. Do it. No stabbing the turtles. Don't do that. Um, and yeah, it was really cool because you know, on land, it's you get close to any wildlife and people freak out and underwater we were close to the turtles not too close but it was just really cool very peaceful turtles were like looking at us like hey yeah they don't seem to mind like swimming around with you otherwise they, they would don't place they would not be in the place where the boat is and we got really. right into the like face of a shark too like yeah. there's just a lot of shark is just sea chilling. creatures there and it was so cool and the people were really awesome. That's what really made it great was all the people. Because, you know, after I stopped diving, like, everyone had been, like, keeping an eye out on me and a few other people who were new. Not him, because he was just, like, fishing around. And it was $25 for all the raw data from, like, yeah. 10 different GoPros. It's going to be so uh, cool. Yeah, $100 if you want them to polish it up and make a nice video out of it. Uh, but uh, we like to do that, so we didn't Yeah. I was tempted to see what they would have done, but I would have ended up wanting to do it myself anyway. So it seemed yeah. like a lot of money because we were, it was already expensive, but it was really worth it. And if you're wondering whether or not you should do it, I 100% recommend it. Even if you don't do the jump also, which you should, um, there's other tours they do. And there's all sorts of experiences you can do that are unique to this company. What's cool about not doing the jump and using this company is that you get to watch people jump. So you still yeah. get to see the helicopter like outside the boat and you still get to watch them jump off. And So if you're unsure and you want to do that first, you can yeah. see other people do it and you can ask them how it was and then you can see and meet all the people involved. It's, just, it's really cool. Um, I enjoyed seeing other people jump too. I got to watch, I was the second to last, but I saw the guy jump who um, was the most scared and it was fun. Yes, Steve has a great way of making you not scared of things. So yeah, I definitely recommend it. You should go, and if you do, tell tell him that Olena and Isaac sent you because we loved it, and you will love it. And yeah. you'll see our cool videos soon. It's gonna take them a few days to upload it all because you know it's like lots and lots of footage. But it's gonna be so awesome. Now we're gonna pick up Smiley. We'll never go diving with us because dogs don't go diving. He'd love it though. <laughs> if he could, he would. Right? Yeah. Would he jump out of a helicopter? Probably. I think so too. I think at 10 feet he would jump out. No questions asked. Smiley's a brave one. Just like us. Brave or stupid. Can't tell. Plenty of us. <laughs> see you next time. Bye. Isaac. What? You see my shirt? No. I'm driving. You don't know what shirt I'm wearing? Husband yes, test, ladies. Husband test. What shirt am I wearing, honey? I'm driving a Tesla. Yes. <laughs> Very cool shirt. I am Olena. This is Isaac. And, and we, we are, are the, the Travel Bug, Bug Bite. Bite. We met in Prague, Czech Republic. Lived in Shanghai, China. New York and Rhode Island, USA. And now we live in Hawaii. Hawaii. We've traveled from Tibet to Puerto Rico. Harbin to Pee Pee. And drove cross country with Smiley in our Tesla Model 3. Subscribe, Subscribe to, to follow our adventures. adventures. If you liked our video, don't forget to click the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Check out our videos from all around the world and let us know what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching!